Alright, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another, I just created an NFL player on a rugby video game and threw them in the deep end with the New Zealand All Blacks video. Guys, um, you probably would have seen a fair few of these come out. Now this, this series of creating NFL players on Rugby Challenge 3 video is going to be mixed. So the first group of players that I made were the forwards, what we call the forwards, the big boppers, the bigger guys. Although, you know, when you watch a game of rugby now, it doesn't matter whether they're number one, number eight, or number 15, or number 22 on the bench. Um, they're all gonna have a certain, you know, level of strength, a certain level of athleticism. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, I, I, I was watching a bit of rugby league the other day. There, there is literally no fat players. There is no fat players, they're all in shape. Whether they're six foot four, or five foot eight, they're all in fucking shape. And that's scary. And that means a dynamic game with players that can do pretty much anything on the field at any time. Now, we're not actually talking about rugby league today, we're talking about rugby union, which is a different game. Same shape ball, same shape field, slightly different rules. So for anyone out there wondering what exactly this rugby game is, it's Rugby Challenge 3, it's a rugby union game, it was brought out in 2016, and the reason why I'm doing all these videos now, trying to get them through as fast as possible, is because Rugby Challenge 4 has just been announced that it's coming out later this year. Now that's exciting. I wanted to get back into rugby. I'm obviously back in New Zealand now. I'm loving rugby again. I'm loving playing it again. I'm loving watching it again. And there's one thing that I've wanted to do for so long, and that is put NFL players in a rugby game and see how they go. And that's what this series is about. So today, we're continuing that. We've done the forwards. We're gonna to go to the backs, okay? And we're gonna start with number nine, which is the scrum half. Now the scrum half is gonna be a, a smaller sort of in stature uh, type of player. He's, he's gonna be a guy who, who can dart around um, the, the base of a ruck, you know? He can sort of step inside, step outside. He, he One thing that has to happen, one thing that has to be there for a scrum half, or a halfback, they like to say. In fact, a halfback is actually, halfback is actually a position in uh, American football, right? Well, there's a halfback in rugby. And basically a halfback is half a back. It is the player that links the forwards and the backs. It literally is. So what you'll find is that a scrum half will be around the base of a ruck. It's his responsibility to recycle that ball, grab it, and then pass it on to the next play. Okay, so what you'll see is, you know, we're going to be creating Tom Brady as our number nine. He's not the most mobile of number nines, but his pass is going to be on point, right? So I'm going to put a hundred, you know, passing. Um, and we'll make up all the rest of the stats when we get there. But as long as his passing's on point, he's going to be a good halfback. He's going to be able to recycle that ball pretty quickly and then pass it on for the next phase. It's going to be really interesting to see how he performs. Um, I, I, you know, with, with the pace, I think with the speed, we're going to have to put down to about 50 or 60. And, um, you know, if you're in the back line and you've got 60 pace, you're probably not going to be running it too much. Or if you do, you're going to be mowed down from behind. So anyways, guys. With all that being said, I've got the stats from Madden. I've also got the stats from his NFL.com profile. And with those stats combined, we're gonna do our very best to create <laughs> the most lifelike version of Tom Brady on a rugby video game that you're ever gonna see. And with that being said, it's time to roll the intro and I'll see you back here shortly. So, guys, here we are. Uh, we're back at the, uh, well, the, the, the main menu. It's been a couple of weeks since I've actually made a player, so if my memory serves me correctly, we go customize, we go players, we go create player, and here we go. Okay, now, <laughs> I actually don't know if we can even have his accurate age. 40 is the maximum age for Rugby Challenge 3. That seems a little bit limited, man. That should have gone at least to 50, especially when you've got players like Dan Carter playing. Anyways, we're not talking about Dan Carter, we're actually talking about his equivalent. The GOAT. You know, Dan Card is the GOAT of rugby. Tom Brady is the GOAT of American football. Now, let's get into this. First name, Tom. Yep, I do remember the controls clearly. Uh, oh, look at that. 
It's always good when you put the surname in and the same surname is copied into the commentary name box because when they're playing in the game, that means the commentators are going to call them by name. So hopefully they'll say Brady with the tackle or Brady with the kick or Brady out to Jackson. <laughs> I'll tell you what it's going to be. It's going to be Brady out to Jackson. Jackson's playing 10. It's going to be Jackson out to Barkley. It's going to be Barkley out to Fournette. It's going to be Fournette out to OBJ. And then it's going to be Christian McCaffrey coming through as a fullback, um, getting the inside ball from OBJ and scoring the try. How does that sound? Sounds pretty good to me. All right, so age 40, even though he's 42. Footedness, we're going to go right. Nationality, US, European. Uh, primary position, we're going to go scrum half. And we'll put you at scrum half in Rugby 7s too. Right. Okay, so we're going to go for our preset stats for a scrum half. I'm not going to lower anything, okay? I'm not going to lower anything. So that means he's got 61 speed at the moment. And if we look at his Madden statistics, what does he have? There you are. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. How fucking good. He's got 60 speed on Madden. So that means we only have to bring it down one. And that means also we can stay consistent. Okay, so fitness. Fitness. Look, I'm going to, I'm going to, we do need you. Well, you're going to be running all over the field. So we're going to go 70. Speed, 60. Acceleration, we're going to go from his Madden statistics, which is 66. <sighs> Not good. <laughs> Aggression. Can he turn it? I think he can. I think he's pretty clinical. I think he can turn it on when he wants to. We're going to go 80. That means he might put in some tackles. Um, agility. Yeah, we'll keep that at 50. Actually, you know what? He's got 70 agility on Madden. We're going to go 70. Break tackle. We're going to leave that at 45. Ta tackling. Tackling. Can he tackle? Can he tackle? You know, how many... <laughs> Six foot four... Fuck, he's going to be a tall scrum half, I'll say that much. Uh, but the pass is there, and the pass is the main thing. Um, tackling, we're going to go 40. Passing, 100. Offloading, we'll go 100 too. So what that means is that if he takes a little break off of the ruck, and he's got another player you know, coming forward, he can give a little lateral, or what we like to call in the game of rugby, an offload. Um, kicking, no, 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 no. No kicking. We'll put that down to... F oh, I'd, I'd like to think he probably could kick, but we're going to put that down to 40. Uh, 40, goal kicking, yep. Catching, 100. Strength, what do we got? 64. Well, that's a bit of a step up from the presets, so I'll say that much. Mental agility, okay. All right, guys. Some of you have been getting up in arms about the fact that I was not taking their awareness. Well, actually, no, you know what? I'm going to start taking awareness and put that at mental agility. So we've got 95. The reason why I didn't do that is because I thought, you know what? No, we're putting an NFL player in the game of rugby. He doesn't know shit about the game. But at the end of the day, you've got to give him a, a, a bit of knowledge, don't you? So, yeah, 95 mental agility. Jumping. We're actually going to put that down to um, 30. And discipline. Discipline, we're going to go... Yeah, you're pretty disciplined, mate. You are the goat of the NFL. We're going to go 90. Okay, so that's who he is. Now, let's go. This should be fun. Tom Brady. You've got a, a bit of a chiseled jawline there. A bit bit more of a tan than this fella. So let's let's see how we can go here. Let's, let's see what happens. Um, quite narrow-ish. Yep, yeah, we'll... we'll Yep, that looks about right. Um, fuck, I think we've got him already. <laughs> and stay like that. Uh, no, we'll, we'll, no, we'll keep that as it is. No, no. Neck width. Hmm. Eh, about that. Neck shape. No. Yeah. Right. Where are you, mate? Um. Uh. 
You know what? We're gonna go that one. Complexion, we're gonna go complexion two. Eye color, blue. Headgear. This was this was gonna be the hard thing. Do I do I create the backs with headgear because it makes them easier to see on the field? Or do I leave the headgear off the backs because they usually have a certain hairstyle that we can actually keep consistent? You know what, I think we're gonna to have to leave the headgear off for this one. I'll make them have bright pink boots. That's gonna be the only thing that's gonna be, that's gonna be the only thing that you can sort of notice them by easily. But we're gonna leave the headgear off. Hair length, okay, here we go. <laughs> um, okay, crew cut. Bit of a crew. Uh, well, we're going to have to change it to dark brown for a start. No, no facial hair. No. Well, it used to be like that. I don't know, man. I think that might be... I, 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 I hate to say it, but... I think that might be us. Height, 6'4". 225 pounds. So six foot four is 193. And 225 pounds is 102 kilograms. 193. 193. Oh, Jesus Christ, come on, man. Wow. You know what? We're going to call it 101. 193 and 101. Okay. Torso. A bit of an angle here. We're gonna go, yeah, small. Stomach, yeah, um, oh, well, keep it in the middle there. Um, defined, uh, I don't know, averagely. Um, spine. Straight, arms. <laughs> yep. Legs, yeah, we'll go small. Um, leg shape, not that this really matters, but. We're gonna go bowed. They said he looked like a giraffe at the 2000 NFL Combine. Uh, we're gonna go bowed. Okay, last but not least, he's got no tattoos, so yeah, last but not least, accessories. Will we do accessories? In fact, you know what? I think the thing that we're going to do for the backs, not only with the pink boots, we're going to take the headgear off and we're going to give them sleeves. Okay, they're going to be the only player on the field with sleeves. And I'm hoping that we can get some pink ones to make them stand out. Okay, cool. So left leg, no strapping, no strapping. Shirt, untucked. Sleeve, yes. We're going to have a sleeve. And we're going to have... If they've got American ones, that is going to be absolutely perfect. Please. No? Okay, that's fine. Any pink? No. No pink either. Okay, well, uh, let's go... Should we go purple? Should we go purple? Sleeve? Purple, white, I think we're going to have to go purple man, we really are. I like purple, we're going to go purple. Club boots, is there a nicer purple than that? Nope, that's what it is. Okay. No tattoos. That's Tom Brady. Now we exit. Save and go and have a look at his rating. Okay, so, so now what I do, now what I do is I go to edit team. I go to team Derek Henry. He was the last player we did. He was number eight. I go to that. We're gonna change this to team Tom Brady. Following that, we're gonna go across to squad. Um, we're going to take Derek Henry back out of the squad 
and put back in um, the original player, Karen Reed. And what we're going to do, we're going to recruit our new player, the rookie, if we can find him. Tom Brady. He's got a star rating of 92. That's actually that's actually the leading star rating of any player I've made so far. And it's because we put his attributes to 100 for certain things. And with that being said, guys, we're going to pick him up. Boom. Okay, so he is the 38th player of the squad. We're going to bring him in and replace our scrum half, Aaron Smith, who is an absolute gun. And there we go. So we're going to exit. We're going to save that. And now we've got Team Tom Brady with Tom Brady at Scrum Half. And with that being said, guys, there's one thing left for me to do. We go like this. We go 15s. We choose Team Tom Brady against the USA. No one controls it. It's a simulated match. And we watch. It's a 10-minute game on easy with fine conditions under the normal law at an international rugby stadium called Franklin's Garden. And with that being said guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy this next part of it where we see Tom Brady in action. And uh, well, I'm going to sit back, shut off my camera and watch it with you guys. Because I actually, I, I really enjoy this shit. You know, I could easily sit here and watch this game. Have a look for Tom Brady, see where he's at, see how he's playing. And if he does something good, then I get really excited because I know that when I do put this video out, you guys who are watching this are really going to enjoy it because you see Tom Brady actually doing something in the game of rugby, which is what this whole series is about. I mean, if these players didn't do anything on the field in the game, it'd be like, well, why'd you even make them? So there have been a couple of players who've scored tries, made big hits, great runs, things like that. They are playing well. Their rating is up there. I mean, Tom Brady is a 92 rated um, player. So guys... With all that being said, let's go. This test match set to be a bruising encounter. The All Blacks have to be the clear favourites going into this. They're clearly in a different class. Former All Black Justin Marshall is here with me. Could be a bit of a mismatch this one, Justin. You're not wrong, fantastic. It's an expectant atmosphere here. The crowd ready to see this one get started. It's all set for outstanding rugby. The traditional Maori challenge coming up now, the haka. So, we're about to get going. Welcome. We should have a great test match here at Franklin's Garden. The All Blacks, they're in such incredible form of late, I can only see this match going one way. 
alongside me, Justin Marshall. Superb conditions here, Justin. Absolutely. A bit of a mismatch in class, really. There's a bit of a buzz around the stadium as we wait for things to get going. We should have a good game of rugby on our hands. And now, the hucker. The ground is still shaking. What a hacker. All ready for the referee to give the signal now. Here we go. We're underway. Kick off. Drag him. Goes to ground quickly. Owen Franks pushes it on. Touch to ground. Your Blacks might still be going here. Fekatoa gives it off now. Pass goes inside there. Messam picks it up, has a go. Yeah, that's a very good position to attack from. Owen Franks finds support. Took a few attempts, but they got him. The ball's being contested. Stewart driven backwards. Players in the ruck doing their job, still alive. Edwards thumps it hard. Abbott is chasing after this. Ben Smith trying to find touch. Sends it flat. Advantage. The ref playing advantage here. Got himself offside there, just in front of the advantage line. Davis delivers it to a runner. Referee says it's advantage over. Takes it on the bounce. Smith running now at top speed. Gets away from the first defender. And finally taken to ground now. Julian Savia has it out the back. The All Blacks chasing up now. Loose ball snapped up. So this will be a dropout on the 22. Restart of the 22 gets us back underway. And they drive him into the ground. Kevin Mialamu pops it up, shovels it on. Loses his balance. He's not letting go. Decides to have a go himself. He's taken down hard. Great work to keep the ball alive here. Coleman finds a runner. Edwards is absolutely smashed. Release. He's trying to turn it over quickly. Gilmore gathers it out of the back. Pass inside. Strong driving defence there. Still there, I think. Oh! And penalty. He's dead set being hit by a beast. Flattened by the high arm. There might be a yellow card here. They'll kick for touch here. And into touch. So, line out here. Banks gets it. The advantage. Oh, and it's lost forward. And the referee playing advantage. His handling left something to be desired there. Yeah, he just lost control of the ball on that occasion. Crouch. First scrum of the match. Find. Set. 
Brady puts it in. Good pushing from both teams. Ball's out here. Solid scrum and the ball's out. Defender fails to take him down. Julian Safia keeps it going. Charges. Pushes through with a big run. This is an exceptional run. Real chance here. And he's in. Well, how significant a try would that be? What a finish. How good was that? So dangerous when he gets going, isn't he? Bang on, Justin. It was a beautifully timed run, and the gap, well, it just opened up. Yep, totally agree. Carter has the conversion. Pretty important kick, this one. Two points could make all the difference. This might just sail wide, but the kick is wide. That's a wide angle to kick from there. Not surprising to see he missed. That's been 10 minutes. Edwards with the restart. Kickoff, take it in. It was good. Some really stellar catching. Sam White shows great strength to get through that one. They're not committing too many to this ruck. Strong running this. Now flat. Interception. Julian Sarpia runs over the line and into touch. Banks is the target. Good clean line out. And it's important to get good quality ball like that. Dead right, Justin. Release. Have to release the ball now. Just a few moments remaining. Edwards running with pace and power. That pass was fired very flat. Good work in the ruck by USA. Shut down with a brutal tackle. And it's a more. That's a very flat pass. Davis not finished yet. They get him this time. Can he go at the ball? Julian Sabi passes his 22-meter line. Well played. Good ball retention here. Kevin Mialamu hands it back. 5-0 at the break here. We didn't expect a tight match here, but at halftime we've got one. We're pretty much at capacity, and the atmosphere is still building as this match progresses. So discipline a bit of a problem in this match so far. Yeah, absolutely. Kickoff is made. Ma'anonu snaps up the kickoff. There's the ball. He pushes it on. Advantage. Knocked on by Whitelock. The ref playing advantage here. It just slipped out of his hands. It only takes a split second lapse in concentration, really. Edwards goes deep. Advantage Here comes over. the chase. Yes, advantage is over. He gets crunched to the ground. This is a pretty amazing performance. Brody Rotelli takes it out of the back. Ball is ready now. Owen Franks feeds it off now. Delivers it back inside. McCaw with a good spurt. They bring him down in the end. Franks launching himself at the defence. The ball is set up in the ruck. He spreads it. Ma'anonu charging his way downfield. 
more formed. Exhilarating rugby here. Advantage. There's a knock on there. And it's an advantage here. Release. Ruck is formed. He has to release. Davis finds a teammate. Throws himself at the defence. So they'll come back for the scrum here. It's going to be a scrum. Find. Set. Furious looking scrum down there. A brutal contest in the scrum. Good contest and the ball is out. Edwards has pulled down in a glorious tackle. Do they have this still? Yes, they do. Now he gets the ball away. That pass goes inside. So more formed here. Banks has it at the back of the mall. Good hard running this. Oh dear, this could be lost now. Great turnover. Did well to create the turnover. Yes, indeed. Brody Rotelli running hard. Police. The ref wants him to let it go of it. Keeps the ball moving, and he goes inside. Quick delivery. Rocky Dick! And a penalty. Well, that was dangerous play. This will give them a little more breathing space. They need more points at this stage, so probably the right decision to kick here. Carter sizing up this kick. The kick's successful, and that puts them more than seven ahead on the scoreboard. They've come away with points, and they look good. <laughs> and the kickoff is made here. Kickoff nicely taken in. And they might have turned it as well. And he gets smashed in the tackle. Not enough players to the breakdown turnover. They were banking on getting this back. And now they have. Absolutely. Back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. Ma'anonu picks the ball up. And that's well kept by the All Blacks. Great crunches it up good strong run and they've held this ball perfectly delivers it short met by the defense great work to keep the ball alive here conrad smith picks it out of the back Nesson has runners with him somehow he's managed to grab that back no way through Looks like it's still on the side of USA. Lovely tackle. They could have turned it here. There's some real force in this defence. Brody Rattel driving hard now. Dan Carter on a searching run. Sam Whitewell finds support. Kevin Mialamu gets the ball away. Julian Sabo steals away for a long run. It's still on the side of the All Blacks. The tackle's not enough. Kieran Reid dragged down in a nice tackle. <laughs> Sam Whitewell is nailed in that one. Good contest, but it's still theirs. The ball was beautifully presented. Turnover. Great work at the breakdown. Tackle to ground. Great work to keep the ball alive here. Ah, yes, brilliant work by USA. They've lost possession here, turnover. Getting players there a little more quickly, and they managed to turn it over. No doubt about that, Justin. Dan Carter gets it away. Nicely anticipated and read by the number 15. New Zealand get the win. The All Blacks have claimed the victory.
what a match it's been. They came away with the win in what was a very even battle. They had an advantage in territory this game. They barely gave the opposition a touch of the ball. They controlled possession very well. So a good result. And the outcome, well, it's exactly as we thought it would go. So it was a real contest in the end. That's all we've got time for. See you next time.